In this video we will show you how to set up an I.O. connection from Omron Sysmac Studio to the Anybus Communicator. Open the Anybus Communicator web configuration interface. The default IP address is 192.168.0.10, or you can change it to your choosing using the Anybus IP config tool. First we will need to configure the I.O. sizes of the Anybus Communicator. Go to the I.O. Configuration tab. The default is 20 bytes in each direction. In this example we will change that to 10 bytes, so go ahead and change the size for both directions. Now apply the configuration. The next step is to download the ESI file. Go to the EtherCAT tab. The ESI file is based off of your configuration and contains PDO mapping. So if you change your configuration you will need to download the ESI file again. Click the ESI file button and save the file to your computer. Now open your Sysmac Studio project. Under the configuration and setup. Right-click the EtherCAT node and select Edit. Right-click the master and click the Display ESI Library. Click the Install File button and select the ESI file you downloaded from the Anybus Communicator. Click Open. Proceed with the installation of the ESI file, following the instructions in Sysmac Studio. Once the ESI file has been installed, open the EtherCAT settings again. On the right side, enter Anybus as the keyword to filter among the installed ESI files. Drag and drop the Anybus communicator onto the master node in the main area. Go to the controller menu and go online. Right click the master node, select the right slave node address. Here you can see the preset value and current set value of node address 2. Change the set value to node address 1 and press enter. Then click the right button to write the node address 1 to the Anybus communicator. Follow the instructions and once complete, power cycle the Anybus communicator for the new node address to take effect. You can check that the new node address has been properly assigned if you again right click on the master and select right slave node address, and click the button, update with latest network configuration. It now has the node address 1. Leave this window by clicking the cancel button. The next step is to transfer to the controller. Go to the controller menu, and under transfer, select a controller. Follow the instructions to transfer. Finally, confirm to set the controller to run mode. We can now see that there is a play icon on the Anybus communicator node, indicating it is up and running. Let's go back to the Anybus communicator configuration. Here we can see that the EtherCAT is in data exchange is active. Off screen we started a Profinet controller connection and are writing some values. As you can see, both interfaces are in data exchange is active. Let's go back to Sysmac Studio and check the IO data. In the left pane, double-click the I.O. map. Expand node 1, the Anybus communicator. Here we can see that in the transmit PDOs, we are receiving some values. Enter some values in the received PDOs. Go back to the Anybus Communicator configuration. Expand the Diagnostics tab and select I.O. Data. 
Click the Start button to start monitoring I.O. data. In the left column, we can see the values we received from the Profinet side, and on the right column, we can see the values we entered in Sysmac Studio. The representation here is in hexadecimal format, but you can choose to display it in hexadecimal, decimal or ASCII using the buttons in the top right corner. Thank you for watching this video.